Hey guys, this is Melissa from Melissa's Pet Life. And in today's video, we're gonna discuss things that are toxic or hazardous to your birds um, and discuss some of their anatomy and the reasons why that these things are toxic to your birds. So if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button, the notification button, and the like button. So let's get into this video, all right? All right, guys. So when talking about hazardous toxins or fumes, the first thing that comes to my mind is definitely Teflon. So Teflon is really, really bad. Um, when it's heated up, it produces toxic fumes. It's both not good for you and your bird, but your bird, it can kill your bird in less than 24 hours. So this Teflon right here, um, when it's heated, produces toxic fumes that can go ahead and kill your bird within 24 hours. So remember how I was talking a little bit about bird anatomy? So their anatomy is a little bit different than ours. So they have air sacs and they move air more efficiently than we do. And that enables them to travel long distances and fly long distances. And it enables their muscles to get oxygen they need to do that. Now that is a pro if you're flying long distances, but if you're living in a house with fumes, that's definitely a negative for you. So their bodies um, absorb all of these toxic fumes much more efficiently than we do, and it can cause death. So some of these things that I'm gonna be talking to you about causes death with these little parrots. So the next thing that I'm gonna be talking to you about that causes death to these little guys are candles. So it's the holiday season, people light candles. Um, not only are they fire hazards, but they can cause death to your parrot. So candles are another item that you should be wary of when burning around your, around your parrot. Um, Fabrice and the Glade plugins, um, any of the plugins um, are something that I would not use in your, in your home um, around your parrot. They also, when inhaled by your parrots, um, are producing fumes that could potentially harm or kill them, causing respiratory distress and possibly death. Um, any of your household cleaners that you use, um, I wouldn't use anything but vinegar and water to clean your house just because the fumes from those household cleaners can be toxic um, and can cause death. So anything like Windex, um, you know, some of your floor cleaners, pine, pine salt, um, those can cause death. Um, for your bird if they're breathing in those fumes, especially any of the pine scented cleaners. Um, those seem to cause a lot of respiratory irritation and can lead to a lot of respiratory problems. With the holiday season com coming up, um, I would stay away from like your perfumes or your body sprays, especially if you're gonna be near your parrot, um, just because any anything perfumey, incense, um, with your bird is going to cause a lot of respiratory irritation. All right, so now that we've gone away, if I've missed anything that you guys can think of um, as far as toxic fumes or chemicals, please comment down below. If there's anything in here that you'd like me to talk about, please again comment down below. But now we're gonna be moving on to just some different hazards around your house that people you know, don't tend to think about. So one thing would be ceiling fans. So ceiling fans can be very dangerous for your bird, especially if your bird is flighted and can fly around your house. If they you know, fly into that while they're flying around your house, they can get knocked out or even killed. So ceiling fans are a big hazard around your house. Um, the next a couple of items would be things that are in your kitchen, like boiling water. If you're boiling water or anything in a pot right here and your bird happens to be flighted and flies into it, there are many birds that have died flying into hot grease, um, boiling water, things like that. Um, so those are other hazards. Open windows, open doors, um, you know, doors that are, you know, automatically closed, um, wires. Um, things that your bird can chew on, they can electrocute themselves. So those are also um, all different hazards that are around your house as well. Another drowning hazard that people don't think about when their birds are out flying, and I didn't really think about this till I watched another video on it, would be your toilet. <laughs> so making sure that when your birds are out flying, your toilet seat is left down. So making sure that that is left down, there have also been drowning instances of birds flying into toilets and drowning in toilets. 
being flushed accidentally. And I know that some of these things sound funny, but it does happen. And if it happens to happen to your bird, it is not funny and it sucks. So making sure that things like your toilet seat are left out. And of course, some things that I talked about in other videos are your other pets. So making sure that you're not your dog or your cat doesn't want to eat your bird. I know that I've showed some of my videos with some of my animals together. They're always, always supervised. And in the back of my mind, there's always a thought of being ready if something were to happen. So just monitoring your pets if they are, you know, family friendly and together. Just if something were to happen, what would you do? How would you handle it? Josie's always trying to like jump in mouths and doing different things. So just monitoring your other pets and just making sure that they're never left alone unsupervised. Also, another important thing to think about is the toys that are in your bird's cage that can become hazardous. So always make sure you're doing cage inspections just to make sure that you're checking the toys, making sure none of, none of them, well, none of them should have rust, but make sure that none of them are damaged, nothing's pointy, nothing's sharp. Make sure that um, there's not just a string hanging or something where they can choke themselves or um, sharp pieces hanging out. Just because a lot of birds can get hurt or injured by their toys um, if they're in there. So just toys in general in their cage can become hazards. All right guys, so that was my video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscription button and the notification button. If you have any comments or can think of anything that I missed, please comment down below and let me know. Um, and please hit the subscribe button. Thanks, bye.